Hi everyone, Georgia Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. Um, I received this stamp set, Home to Roost, off a Gainer Boys. Very kindly sent it to me. Um, I sent her some um, magazines with stamps on it and she sent me this in return which was very nice of her. Thank you Gainer. Um, so I come up with this card. I don't know how close you can see that. And I'm going to send it to Gaynor. She can be the first one to receive a Home to Roost card. I've actually put on it, thank you for your friendship. To make this card I used um, a card base of 8 and a quarter by 5 and 7 eighths, scored at 4 and 1 eighth, folded in half. A piece of white cardstock at 5 and 5 eighths by 3 and 7 eighths for the inside. A piece of knight and navy at 5 and 5 eighths by 3 and 7 eighths. A piece of white cardstock at 5 and a half by 3 and 3 quarters. And a piece of gold and black ribbon. I don't think you can see that much there. Don't ask me where I got this from, but I found it and I thought, oh, I'll use that. And for that you'll need about four and one eighth. So this actually needs cutting down. I should cut this side down since that one's quite nice. And cut that. I'll just cut each end at an angle and that'll go there. In fact I cut that at the wrong end. Let's do it that way. That's better. Cut like, like that. Right. I have already cut out my uh, stitched oval. It's the largest stitched oval for there. I have a scrap of white for the. I hope I can get it on there. Um, rooster. The background. This I made using the buffalo check and marker pen. So I'll show you how I've done that. So first of all, we're going to stamp the rooster so it can dry for colouring. Move them aside. We'll need to stamp on that in a minute. So for this, I am going to be using a memento um, black because there is a bit of shading on this rooster and I don't want it as black as the Versafine brings it out. So that's it. The tail could have been a bit darker but that will do fine. Once I colour it in, right. stamp cleaned, put that way afterwards. So I'll put that there to dry, put that away. Now for the buffalo check, I've already mounted it, I get my five and a half by three and three quarters piece. And that should fit on there, no problem. I've also got a piece of scrap to rub over it. And I'm going to do this in crumb cake. So, ink it up really well. Doesn't look like it's going on. I believe it is. Right, place this as straight as you can. Place your scrap on top and rub it down. With these big background stamps, it is a lot easier doing them this way 
than it is trying to place the stamp onto the card that is smaller than it and straight. Right, carefully lift that off and there we have our nice checkered design. Right. Wipe that over. And I'll that back up there. Here are my um what do you call them? Marker pens rattling. Right. With a ruler. Got one at the side here. And I use red, real red, and night and navy. Now, with the pen end of it, and the middle of each dark I went into, this way, let's put this on there, because I'm going to go off the page. And then halfway up each dark block, just do a nice line and you do that all the way up the page I have I'll show you in a minute done this in different colours. And I wrote on the back of each card what colour I used. I think that one was in the middle very well. Right, so that's our Night and Navy done. And then with the real red, I'm going to go in the light bit rather than the dark bit this way. So we take our real red and go in the light bit. One more. About half these lines aren't straight. Right. Put that to one side. And that is my tartan. Or plaid if you want to call it that. Background. Now, the other ones I did. This one is mint macaron. I don't think you can see it. That's it. Mint macaron with sweet sugar plum and always artichoke. Two retired colours, I know. This one is blushing bride, blackberry bliss, and Tempting turquoise. This one is Highland Heather with elegant eggplant and berry burst. And this one is the only one that all the colours are current, and that's Palmy Blue 
with knight and navy and real red. So you can make a few um, backgrounds, different colours. Come in handy for something. I will use them, don't worry. Nothing goes to waste in my house. Right, let's stick this on there like that. Brings out the navy in this, the night of navy. New pot of glue, just opened it. Wonder how long that'll last before I break the top. And then that, oh no, I've got a sentiment stick on this first. Right, the sentiment I'm choosing for this one, I don't want to thank you for your friendship. Oh, shall I? Um, no, I'm going to stick with the one I picked and that is enjoy the simple moments. So I'm going to stamp that in Versafine. And I'm going to stamp that across the top. Just like that. Right. Close that up. Right, now we can stick this on the card base and put it to one side and forget about it for a, a moment or two. Put a lid on the glue. side. Alright with our rooster we're going to colour him in and we're going to use marker pens. Right the colours I'm using are the colours I followed off at Pinterest. Some kind person put on Pinterest um, all the colours you use to clean to colour her rooster. So this colour here just to do these back feathers is Muda Bay. So I'm not going right to the end, I'm just doing the bits there. Then go to the end, we use a retired colour, sorry, Marina Miss. I haven't got balmy blue in a pen. So if I had that I would have used that but I haven't got it. So I'm using Marina Mist just to add some different tones to it. Right. For the lower half of his body, he went round in smoky slate. And just round the inside, or right up to the chest feathers, his leg bits, and round the front of his body, and then crumb cake in the middle, and it went all over smoky slate. Is that a two-tone body look? For the top bit, use Gajon Craze. 
Let's just create. Yep. And again, went round all the outside. That's a wide bit. And then with pumpkin pie, I blend the two colours in. Right, for its crown bit, did it in real red. And his wobbly chin. And then I just went round a little bit with cherry cobbler just to run the edge, the tops the bottom there. This face we did in crumb cake and his beak in pumpkin pie. And that is how I covered the rooster. And now, for a bit, a lot of you don't like, I'm going to cut him out. Now what I did, I followed the ground he's actually stood on. And I left a little white border all around. Cut out a triangle there and snip up that way so that It's a bit big. Right. Just follow his head round. under his crown and then oh. wasn't on camera I'd whiz around this but it's not the case and just follow the feathers round over the furthest is just take a small triangle out
help if I stop shaking. You lot make me nervous cutting out. Right, and just zigzag this bit. I think this rooster wants cutting out. And then when I get back around here, cut it off. And then even a good half inch, just Do like a scallop bit at the bottom. Right, that's that bit done. Got to keep this in mind. We've got to do something else with this bottom, which I'll show you what in a minute. Right, our oval piece of scrap. Our ferns. Right, the first one we did. I did. I got some crumb cake. Inked it up and hit some ferns in crumb cake on it. Oh, yeah, that's it. Then I got some mossy meadow. And went over them in Mossy Meadow. But not as high up. That was all I done with that. And then on the inside I used, oh mossy meadow, get your inside bit, ink up your mossy meadow. Now I started the top, I did all, the first one I did all of it, then I come down a bit and a bit more and a bit more. Just so you're coming down all the t time. So it's like that. Oh. And that's for the inside. Clean this up. Right. Don't need that anymore. And I'll keep that. And for this. I need some old olive and I didn't bring, hang on, I just forgot my brush. Got my brush. Right, I'm going to take it straight off the pad, shouldn't really, but and I just want to do a bit of green just there like that and I do the same with the rooster, but I want it to be darker here That's what I quite well. So I don't want it all to be even colour. So it's a bit blotchy. That's it. Yeah. Clean my brush up. Get rid of that. I 
what do I do with the netting? I keep them back in these nets because it um, keeps the bristles in place. And it must work because I've had them a while and it looks after themselves. I look after them, they look after me. Right, and that is where that will sit on dimensionals. Did I put that on dimensionals? No, never. Right, so we want dimensionals on the rooster and this is going flat. But first we must put our bit of ribbon on. And that, yeah, we'll go along there. Now, I am going to glue it on. All I do is put a bit too much there, a line of glue on it, and then just lay it. This will dry clear, that's why I use it. So, right, and this, hang on while I shout at my husband. What? You're snoring. <laughs> You're snoring. <laughs> oh, that's no good, that's finished. Let's see if I've got another one. Well, this will do, but this is nearly finished as well. Oh no, that's glue dots. Oh, glue dots. I want some tear and tape. Right, all I'm going to do is put tear and tape this side of this. I'm going to add two bits. Because I'm going to add some gold thread. So lift this off. And where's my gold thread? I'm going to wrap it around my fingers. It's already sticking to the card. I think that'll do. Link out how many times I did it. Right, twist it. Hold it in the middle and then just fan it out. I want more to fan out just on this side. There you are. Just a little bit of decoration. And then we'll glue it all. And lay that on the black and gold ribbon. Then with the rooster sitting there with dimensionals. What are they? Small ones and the big ones. <laughs> Got a part of a big one. That could go along there. 
think I'm going to have to open up another set of big ones, but that'll do for now. So take that off. Take the back ends off. that at the bottom and put the inside just come over ever so dark all of a sudden but this isn't too dark for you I'm going to have to put a light on And there we have it. Aha, uh -huh. no we haven't. I forgot to add some gems. Um, and I just want three. So, these three I should just put down there. There's a bit of sticky stuff there. Ooh. There. So there you have it. Celebration stamp set home to roost. Hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my videos, please subscribe and press the bell button next to it, and you'll be notified of any more videos I upload, which is usually on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. All I can say is thank you for visiting. And I hope to see you again soon. Bye.